Hey guys, how's it going? Um, hey, I just wanted to show you some quick stuff about uh, the Sonatina. I th I'm pretty sure yeah, it's the Sonatina that I'm using right now. Uh, let me look here real quick. Uh huh. No, this is the Virtual Playing Orchestra. Um, actually, yeah, yeah, it is Sonatina. Um, that's just the new the new one that he recommends. Virtual Playing Orchestra. Um, yeah, and it like kind of sounds like crap sometimes, but I have figured out some tips and tricks to making it sound better. Um, so I'll just play this track real quick, just so you can hear. So it really doesn't sound that bad. Um, I'll show you what I did here. Um, okay. So for this first uh, string melody here, uh, it's solo violin. Um, I have a couple things going on here. Uh, first of all is the mod wheel. And what the mod wheel does um, is it changes the attack of the string. Um, so if the, um, if the mod wheel is set to a high level, there will be a, a longer attack. And if it's set to a lower level there will be a shorter attack. So what I have here is my the first note I have on a longer attack and that just kind of helps um, helps kind of round it out a bit. Um, as we go on through here um, so this this one here actually is meant to be for this one I'm not sure why I have it all the way over there it could be over here. Um, but anyway when you play it like that you can hear that we have a nice blend in here. And so to help that, I also have um, the volume, if I can find it. Here it is. So I have a nice curve to the volume. I kind of wanted a, um, a quick swell here and then gradual decrease, um, getting quicker with the last note. Um, and then kind of the, a similar thing for the next one. I'll just play it without it real quick. Um, just delete this. So you, you'll notice that it's not so shaped. It's not very, very musical. Kind of sounds okay, but like that just makes it sound more human. Um, yeah. Okay. So that's it for that one. Um, you'll notice in this uh, second iteration of that melody, I actually have some little ornaments, um, and I'll show you those. So I have a little, um, I guess you could call it some grace notes here. Um, it goes, da -da -da -da. and if I show you what I'm doing here, um, what I'm doing is I'm actually using um, the pitch, uh, pitch modulation. And so what I have here, um, this line here represents a semitone, a half step. Um, and so when I put the line up here, then it's going to modulate a semitone up and then go back down. Like that. And the reason that I do that instead of actually having another note um, is because it, I generally have more control over it. They happen so quickly. Um, and typically when a, a violin's playing a note, they're not going to be changing much through that. So just changing the pitch, I think really makes it easy and pretty accurate too. Um, I have the same thing here. This one's actually a whole step higher. Uh-huh. And for this last one here, I actually have some smoother pitch bends, which really makes a cool effect. Very neat. Um, and the key to this is actually having reverb because um, I'll just play it real quick without my reverb bus. Um, 
it sounds a little weird. Um, let me play the second one to show you what I mean. It's not terrible. This sounds a little weird, though. Listen to this. It almost sounds electronic. Um, but when you have the reverb on it, it actually masks that out a bit. Um, oops. Cancel that. Um, yeah. Uh, let's see. I think that's basically it. Oh, this um, this synth that I have here is T-Force Alpha Plus. It's free. Download it. It's the awesomest synth ever. It's really cool. Um, yeah. I think that's about it. Um, oh, I also have a delay on my violin, which really, I think, makes it sound really atmospheric. Um, I have it on a, uh, let's see, uh, 600 millisecond, basically like half a second. Is that right? You can hear it kind of without the delay, or without the reverb. And that just really kind of helps to give it a bit more atmosphere. You can especially notice it on the ornaments, too. All right, well, that'll be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. I will see you later. Bye.